Ava and Angela here with Splitter Splat Pre-K Co-op and today we're going to talk about how to play the Soctopus game. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is make your Soctopus. You see we've made one so far. There's actually a video, a separate video on how to make one of these and it actually goes with one of our books. Um, where is Soctopus? It's a Splitter Splat, uh, Splatopus series book. So. Anyways, you don't need all of that though in order to play this game. You just need a little octopus here. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print out your game cards. So we have, you know, a file that you can print out. Um, there's actually three different sheets with various clues on them. So let's take a look. And so see what Ava's done is we've printed them out on um, kind of a heavier cardstock, right? So a little more durable. She's decorated them and we've cut them out. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to create two different piles or two different buckets. We have a yes pile and a no pile. We're going to use this for our game. We also have a little timer. You can use just a regular old game timer or you could use, you know, any other timer, a little egg timer or your phone. Um, anything that, you know, is relatively short, a minute or so um, in length, okay? So the very first thing that you do, though, is what, Ava? Somebody hides this octopus. Somebody hides this octopus where? Well, Outside? Inside? Inside. Inside your house. Okay. And, and what do the other people do while they're hiding it? They close their eyes. They close their eyes so they don't know where that octopus is. Okay. The next thing we're going to want to do is we flip the, we're going to flip our game cards over. You can have a pile or you can have, you can have a single pile or you can have kind of like a little pool, a uh, pond, right, of clues. And then what's going to happen? And then um, the other people... Mm -hmm. Whoever's starting, you pick out a card. Okay. And whoever hit it, and the people are going to ask, oh. is it in a room with shoes? So these are clues, and you're going to ask the person who hid Soctopus, hey, is it in a room? Is Soctopus in a room with shoes? And they're going to say what? Yes or? No. So what are they What are going to pretend they say this time? Yes. Yes. So let's pretend they said yes. So we're going to put it in the yes pile. Okay. And then we're going to keep drawing. Yep. Because we're going to get more and more clues because we're going to try and guess where Soctopus is. Is it in a room with a table? Ooh. Okay. So let's pretend that that's the person said no. No, it's not in a room with a table. Okay. No. Right. And so you would keep going. Just with that one over. Let's see what that one is. Is it in a room with a bed? Let's just say yes. Okay. So we would flip it over. We keep flipping over clues and asking questions. And keeping track of those clues until we get to another uh, type of card, which is the go look card. Go look card. So when this happens, everyone else, what do they do? They they go try to find it. Yeah, based on the clues that they've been given so far. So what you'll do is you'll turn the timer over and say go look, and everyone has until the timer is done. To use the clues and try and find Soctopus. Yeah. If they can't find it in time, then they have to come back and we're gonna you keep drawing clues, right? Oops, there's a go look. You would keep drawing clues and go looks until you find the Soctopus. Yep. Yeah. Alright. 